Them chocolate sea creatures are mean, man. Especially to the sun creatures, man. Especially to the sun men. They are mean, man. Attitudes and everything. That's why a lot of the sun men, they claim they're going with overseas or something, getting foreign, foreign ladies. Um, I didn't want to believe it. I was just thinking, oh, it's just a talk, man. But, whew. A lot of sun men are getting themselves into a lot of stuff with the um, with the chocolate cre sea creatures. Those chocolate sea creatures are really a handful when it comes to sun men. They're not too bad when it comes to the moon men. A lot of them treat the moon men better. I mean, all men are men, but for some reason they treat the moon men better than the sun men. Um, I'm sure y'all are smart enough to read between the lines. But, uh... Yeah, man, those, ch those chocolate sheet creatures with the attitudes and stuff like that. I mean, it could have been, it's, you know, you know, you know how stuff go and the, the past could affect things and um, just the way things move could affect things. The history, the, the, the gossip from the, the mothers, the aunts, um, the TV shows, the music, all that has an effect. Main, a music big time. All it has an effect on the mind, the subconscious mind, why they think the way they think, um, the people they hang around with, um, you know, the love of money, all that type of stuff affect, it affect, it affects the psychology of how, how they act. And some of them, some of them act mean to every, every man, not just the sun man. Some of them act mean to you know, some of them act mean to the moon men, to the water men, <laughs> to the star men. They act mean to to all of us. But for the most part, they do treat the moon men a lot better. Um, not all of them, but most of them are. They change up a little bit because, you know, I guess they feel like the moon men face on the money. You know, they love money. So, they, you know, the devil has programmed them to uh, love money. And to put money before the thing, and the money divides the family up, and you know, all that type stuff. So they, they, that's what they doing. Uh, it's, it's all about divide and conquer. You know, the devil got his way of doing things, but the attitude is real. The gossip is real. The starting stuff is real. The arguing is real. Um, no matter how nice they may look. How might they might dress up and they know how to act when you got some money or when they want something. When you're a celebrity, they know how to act. When they when they want to take you from your girlfriend, they know how to act nice. When they decide the chick, they know how to act nice. Because they're trying to get you to leave your your main chick. Those who live that type of lifestyle. But them chocolate sheet creatures are something else. And once the moon men say, love, we had we had enough fun with them, you know. You know, back during them times of you know, of bondage. Um, but now that they, they might, once the moon men give up on them and they moon men ain't, a lot of the moon men ain't taking them that serious, but you know, they might, but they act good around the moon men. You know, it's it's easy to, uh, to bring something in if it's gonna cooperate and obey, you know, but for the, for the sun men, no matter how nice the sun men is and all that type of stuff, you, if you have a sun man and a moon man with the same personality, same mannerism, personality, everything, most of the she, chocolate sheet creatures are going to treat the moon man better. And, they, and you got two guys with the same personality. One is the sun man, one is the moon man. The chocolate sheet creatures are going to treat the moon man better with the same personality. So they can't say, oh, what are you, oh, he lazy, they disrespectful, the sun men disrespectful, the moon men treat us better. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. They choose to act a certain way towards most moon men. You know, maybe they program that way, I don't know. Maybe they're a product of the ancient moon, you know, the, the ancient moon men that did what they did. But that's what happens. That's how they act. And it's kind of turning me off. 
people need love. They can't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna keep dealing with something if it's not working, unless you insane. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and getting the same results. And that's why a lot of people who lie. A lot of people don't lie because they like lying. Some people lie because they didn't get good results telling the truth. Why didn't you tell the truth? Why didn't you truth? Evidently, this person has some bad experiences telling the truth. They keep focusing on the person lying. But why is this person lying? Is this for entertainment? Or do they have bad experiences? Or misunderstood? Or get jumped into negative assumptions? It's a reason behind everything. And it's not just to deceive you all the time. It's just people don't like the yap. They don't like the negativity. They don't like the negative assumptions. So they just say, I'm just not going to tell you. I'm just going to say something else. You know, just wipe, you know, just... Focus on me. Don't focus on something. You tell some people stuff. That's all they think about. Every time they come around you, they'll tell you. I heard you ate the whole watermelon. What's up, watermelon man? You know, you get nicknames from telling people stuff. You tell a person you ate a whole watermelon. They go, hey, watermelon man, what's up? Like, you still talking about the watermelon? Because I told you I ate a whole watermelon. So, you know, you tell people stuff. Certain stuff stick in their head. And they can, they can take it too far or whatever. But... A lot of guys, the whole, the moon men and the sun men are getting tired of the um, chocolate she creatures, man. With the fake this, the fake that, and the attitude, and this, and the, this. I mean, what more are you worth? What more are you worth other than your your looks, your behind, and your beauty? I'm Alan Ray now. Um, I know in your natural state of mind how God made you, how you want you to be, how you designed you to be. But the devil is getting, his grip is getting too strong. I mean, we can only pray from a distance because being around you is a headache and it's always drama and trauma. Much love to you, Alan Ray in there. Follow me on the Instagram link in the description box. Much love to all y'all. Um, subscribe to my other pages, my comedy page and my alternative page also. Um, everything is in the description box. You want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, whatever you want, holler at me. Let's work, let's work it out. Keep in touch with me. Let me know what you're trying to do if you want me to promote something that you got or whatever. Holler at me.